welcome to you all in my youtube channel and today i am going to discuss about if you want to work in us my us pharmacist and um, uh, in, in this video i will discuss about the eligibility of this examination because uh, many of of you all have the, some of the doubt about farm depots baccalaureate or m farm can give or b farm can give this examination or not and secondly i will discuss about the fvg examination pattern in that how to file that application what is the fees and uh, uh, where is the center for this examination and number third about the internship and um, uh, number four is the TOEFL examination uh, in, in, in English test requirement and number five most important is the job market or scenario if you pass and if you went there and there is no job you know so all these I will discuss today in this video so you must watch this video the full video and my name is Akram Ahmed I am a clinical lecturer and researcher at health policy analyst so let's begin this uh, examination is uh, based on my paper. this paper i was written in 2014 it, it was my dream also have to work in the us but unfortunately my interest was in, in the research so i moved to the uh, my PhD in, in all this area at the time i was a, a clinical pharmacy lecturer in malaysia so i worked there about four years and now I'm in Australia and this is most important this is one of my friend we wrote this uh, this uh, this paper and we published uh, in 2014 and uh, uh, and he is a uh, registered pharmacist in the United States at the moment you know so this is the most important if you want to read this uh, uh, I must say you have to go for this paper and, and go and read on all this so yes so next we are going to be discuss about the this examination the eligibility criteria so here you know it is like a, in us there is a nabp is called national association of board of pharmacy this is similar like pharmacy council of india in india or pakistan council of india in pakistan so we can say it's like similar than the work for this organization so it's important here in before 2003 anyone is before uh, 40 degree can give this examination and but after 2003 and uh, they made this uh, program if you have five year degree minimum five year degree and then you can eligible to give this examination and, uh, this pakistanis was uh, very clever and they move in the same year they change their b form into the farm d so i can say they are very the government was uh, more aware than in than indians and here the you know then after that there is a rule if anyone want to work in in us you must have five year degree after your uh, a 12th examination india also we started six year farm in 2008 but it was too late so anyone have five year degree they can they, they can directly they can write this examination but the the question is here those are b form plus farm d those are post baccalaureate farm d they can give this examination or not yes they can give and i have my two friends one of my uh, my classmates she is working there and one of my senior uh, uh, in earlier page i showed that anup is my senior he also working as a pharmacist so these both of are the uh, pv but there are uh, the certain criteria when they are uh, choose i mean they have to set your degree they have to analyze your degree this is not just to see your degree in this case you are b form plus form d or you are b form plus m form in pharmacy practice or maybe pharmacology they will see your experience maybe you have been hospital experience or most important they will see how many papers you publish for example you publish some papers and you have some case report and clinical presentations and you went some conferences or uh, some symposium you present your work there so all the certifications you have whatever you have you just include you know there is a more chance to uh, get the eligible for this examination so this this is what my uh, personal experience and i talked to them also they told me all these tricks but 
यू दो दैट सिक्स ईयर फ्रॉम डी फ्रॉम इंडिया और फाइव ईयर फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान और यू आर फ्रॉम वेरी वेर यू आर फ्रॉम एनी कंट्री इफ यू आर डिग्री फाइव ईयर आफ्टर ट्वेल्थ यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर राइटिंग फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन तो आई थिंक इज द क्लियर दिस इज अ केस फॉर फॉर्म डी पोस्ट बैक्लोरेट इफ दी हैव दिज ऑल सम एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलम दे कैन बी एलिजिबल और एम फॉर्म एज वेल बट दिस इज नॉट द श्योरिटी हंड्रेड परसेंट यू नो दिस इज द entry level examination if you want to work in us first you have to give a, a fg then go for an nbp is keen to pci and it, it is established in to, uh, 19 uh, 4 and um, to ensure the public health and safety through the pharmacist license transferring or if you want to be a pharmacist uh, competency assessment programs and all these you are competent to work in us on all these they have to be this organization and abb has to be uh, responsible so um, you know the what are the steps in us if you want to work in us the, so you are here you are a indian graduate or you are pakistan graduate you you are just graduate then you have to pass this fpg examination then you have to go for one year internship after, after passing this exam then you have to choose in which state you want to work for example you want to work here in texas or maybe in uh, new york or maybe arizona whatever state you want to work you have to mention there and that uh, that nabp will coordinate that state pharmacy council and then you can go for internship there and automatically once you finish your internship and you, then you can be eligible for that writing the uh, naplex examination and F mpg i mean this is like a pharmacogen jurisprudence uh, uh, like exam in that particular state what the laws uh, basic law for related to, to the drugs you have to study so uh, us have many states so every state have different different rules but this is the rules for applicable to all first you have to pass the fpg then you have to go one year internship then go for the naplex and the mpg <coughs> so we will discuss here that this is the online examination and it, it, this exam is uh, about six hour exams and uh, Uh, you have to give this examination in us only you know and that the pearson and that the centers and you can and that the pearson center and all these you can give in the united states and the examination contain 250 questions and uh, this is like multiple choice questions and um, firstly they have to be a yeah, biomedical uh, sciences i mean this is a basic like physiology uh, anatomy on chemistry and all these and uh, this is a 16% that will be covered and pharmaceutical sciences pharmaceutical sciences like pharmaceutical analysis and pharmaceutics and all these dosage form and all these they will cover it into the uh, 30% and 22% will cover like that the social and behavioral administrative pharmacy and 32% is the clinical cases so this is most important is like this is like a, a pharmacotherapy of the disease and the management for that in all these so you can say like more about 50% from the pharmacy practice uh, yeah, if you are pharmacy practice are very strong definitely you can clear this examination this is not very tough uh, those my uh, two friends they already clear so i know uh, all this so what is the document required for this so this is the online application and um, if you are eligible you can go this website and i will give this link into the my description box so you can go directly and check there and there is a one filled form already i will recommend here there is a one filled form is there you go and download that and you can check before you have to file your online application so you know in which uh, exactly what you are need to fill uh, in the online form and the fee is about the 1200 us dollar you have to uh, pay with the home on an application then the next is the transcript i mean what are the document you have to send to the uh, uh, to them and uh, important here the document you are sending that you, your university has to send that document particularly especially like the transcripts and the degree and the internship certificate so if your degree are not yet finish you are a student or you are doing your internship you are in final year so you can take from them as a provisional degree uh, and you can send to them and here this is a transcript 
sealed you know this is this word this is a seal by the university i mean the examination center whatever the uh, like sometime the uh, registrar or the examination controller you know or, or whatever the authority are responsible they will send directly to the to, to their that address and next is the certification of registration for example if those are the post baccalaureate uh, students they are registered pharmacist or you are already registered pharmacist after your farm d and you are going to apply then you have to send your the uh, certificate for example this is like uh, suppose you are <coughs> in the uh, you are registered in the uh, delhi pharmacy council then they will send directly to them and again here also the same same thing the sealed and um, stamped envelope they have to send directly to the to, to the, the address in the uh, <coughs> this can can be sent directly by the pharmacy board to the nabp or or through a candidate with the application i mean candidate also can send and they also can send for this if they, they send but this, this, this must be a seal and an envelope this is by the, the your state pharmacy counter maybe you can send and they will send they can send directly to them and another important uh, here you have to be evaluate your degree uh, uh, i mean the educational um, uh, credential evolution ece this is a private uh, uh, organization they will do so this is also important um, because they have to certify your uh, document and all these and this is also most important to the decision making process for the board so same set of the document you need to submit it to the ec whatever you are going to submit like degree and the transcript and internship certificate so same document you have to send to them and that this is the uh, the fee also for this is about a 85 dollar and this is the recommendations here like you can send both together it will take like um, four week and uh, uh, four to six week and uh, and uh, they will get back to you and after all these exam i mean the process what is the next already you are submitted your application online to the uh, uh, for, for the apg to, to the nabp then after uh, 12 week i mean within three months they will take a decision about your application yes you can uh, now uh, after 12 week they will send you the email and you can write the online you can fill the uh, your, your the uh, application first you send your document from for the evolution after evolution then they will say yes you can uh, online now you, um, you can uh, uh, online fill your application for the fpg examination and for fpg you can give uh, about five times you can give this exam and after you pass this exam then you have you need to be a, a 15 hour internship you know it, this is very to uh, um, uh, state to state but most of the states they are uh, and, uh, they follow the uh, 1500 uh, hours once the in intern hour completed the nabp in coordination with the state pharmacy board issue a solution letter to take the naplex or fpg i mean once you clear that um, your uh, fpg then you have to go for the one year internship after you finish your internship directly you can go for the naplex and the uh, mpg mpg is a uh, like law uh, in that particular state where you want to work and next is important here the TOEFL examination you need and uh, in that important here that the, they ask TOEFL you need to go in US then only you can give suppose if you are in India you cannot give the TOEFL in India and you are going to give the score so you have to go in US and so this is a recommendation here once you are going for FPG examination the same time you register for the TOEFL as well then you can give the TOEFL the same time so there, are, there is a minimum requirement that is speaking is 26 and reading is 22 and listening is 21 and writing is 24. So um, you can go and keep the uh, this uh, examination. So most important slide here, what is the current scenario in the job market in the US? You know, two main reasons here. First is 130 pharmacy school in the US and uh, each school have about 120 seats. I mean, the simple word we can say there is saturation in the u.s market for pharmacist and there are not much opening for the pharmacist in the in the in the u.s and secondly the issue with the visa 
because you know if you want to work in pharmacy they have that particular pharmacy they have to give you the h one b visa then you can work there so do, no one want to give you the and that the this visa so here um I, they gave me some tips my friends all this they saying you have to target a small retail pharmacy yeah the important here there are saturation but all are those are passing fpg everyone is getting job all are getting job all are settled there so you have to focus in the retail pharmacy small retail pharmacy especially those retail pharmacy owned by your own community for example you are from india then you can target for some indian pharmacies or you are pakistanis you can i mean you have to target for you your own on those pharmacies they are understand your situation and they can give you the they can sponsor for you h1 b visa most of the students are doing the same thing and they are getting and all are settled they are they are getting jobs you know they are saturation but still they are all are because us market is too big so the us of, of uh, the pharmacists not want to work especially in the especially rural areas so rural areas they, you can go and serve there and eventually you know uh all this process you know I, I, as i told you here so this this is the your uh decision now you want to go for us or not or maybe you want to work in india in india situation is not good so most of us want to go in, in abroad like me i am in australia here so the best option if you are not going to um, a us so you can come australia is very very good and very easy uh, process i can say and all are getting the visa and all are getting the pr and they all are getting jobs as well uh, two of my friend recently uh, and they came in australia i am going to take their interview and i will uh, uh, upload here uh, i will ask them and uh, you know some of the people want to go to the uk or maybe the canada so i can recommend you number one is australia number two is the canada or maybe in the number third is the uk but if you want to go us your dream is us then you can go and follow all these process if you have any question please do ask me i will uh, uh, i will be happy to uh, give you all the answers and uh, you have some papers or something related to the pharmacy practice or clinical pharmacy this is my general i am the editor in chief so i can publish here you can go through here and please support me to subscribe my channel and share my videos and like my videos and thank you for watching this video